What's up everybody? This is Live with No Hippie Barbecue. Feeling a little under the weather today. I don't know if it's allergies or what, but uh, I'm feeling real sensitive and hippie like today. So I'm going to have me a little espresso. Mmm, that's some good stuff there. Anyway, I want to do another video on YouTube channels I watch and why I watch them. Plus, I want to give a shout out to one subscriber. Actually, I'm going to do it on a few subscribers, but just one in this video that... Uh, I just want to show appreciation to and starting off with that subscriber um, first of all you know I just got into YouTube probably in September so I really wasn't watching it that much or anything and then when I started my channel I started seeing this person commenting on everybody's channel and stuff like that and then uh, at some point she you know subscribed to my channel and she did the same thing and that uh, subscriber is I don't know if it's fit Ange or fit Angie but uh, she is out of Australia and uh, you know she's just one of those people and I, I see her on like multiple channels you know taking time to watch uh, you know other people's videos so not only do I want to uh, show appreciation for her you know checking me out and leaving comments on my videos but uh, also for doing the same uh, on other channels as well if uh, nobody tells you or if nobody has told you or expressed it I'm sure that they appreciate it a lot so just wanted to show that bit of appreciation uh, first cooking channel I want to talk about is aim them and claim them smokers now you need to take a look at this channel if you're into barbecue and stuff like that. Um, he's a competition barbecue cook out of, I think, Kyle, Texas. And uh, just three videos got me kind of where I really, you know, was into what he was doing. And there was a, a rib video, and I think there might be a couple of them. They were all good, but a rib video, a lollipop chicken video, and then there was a brisket video. And I'm hearing there's going to be another brisket video coming out uh, either today or tomorrow. I know he just did that yesterday. And he's one of the people that uh, I actually had a chance to uh, talk to on the phone. So, you know, I think Saturday or Sunday we, we spoke for, you know, I don't know, 30 minutes, something like that. I think we spoke again after that. But... Uh, he really puts down some good uh, food. I mean, those ribs were like off the chain. Anyway, uh, if you haven't checked him out, check him out. If not only but for the technique of uh, some of that barbecue. So that is uh, one channel that I'm checking out. Uh, another one is T. Roy's Cooks. I'm sure... If you're what if you're into cooking channels and you're looking at mine, you've probably already checked his out. But uh, T. Roy, you know, is heavily into barbecue, but he's heavy into seafood as well. And if there's just one video that, if you haven't seen it yet, if you're subscribed to his channel or if you're not, there was a corned beef brisket video that just got uploaded. Uh, I don't know, five days ago, and that was that could have been one of the best uh, beef videos I've seen. So that was a great video. Plus I just got this new uh, Weber Smoky Mountain and uh, you know he checked out one of my brisket videos. Now keep in mind when I did that brisket it was a day old because I was too tired to film that night. But uh, he said, <laughs> he said, uh, I forgot how he put it, but basically uh, we might disagree on how to use the Weber Smoky Mountain. I don't even know how to use the Weber Smoky Mountain. I mean I just took you know, one person's advice, the person's advice that I spent time with on the phone talking about, it, and that's kind of what I rolled with. But as I get into it a little bit more, I will kind of be changing things up a little bit. And the funny thing he said was, I figured that Weber put a water pan on there for a reason, because I was rolling without the water pan, because uh, that was some advice that was given to me. So next time I'm probably going to check it out with uh, some water in the water pan. Uh, also, he did a video on a review of... Uh, a product called not ketchup I believe and uh, you know I personally I mean if, if you like all that stuff you know obviously go out and buy it and everything but what it inspired me to do 
was to uh, come up with something that uh, I made at the house that was going to be kind of similar to that. And uh, anyway, that product seemed good. So if you're not comfortable making your own sauces, I go knock that sauce out, not ketchup. But that video inspired me to make. I'm gonna do a cherry fig sauce. So anyway, appreciate T. Roy. He's another person. He you know he actually takes time to uh, leave comments and you know he's far more advanced and stuff in uh, barbecue than I am. So I definitely look at his videos as well to get some advice. Uh, the last one today is going to be Toss Tin Man. And until I really start digging through his videos, I didn't know what the Toss stood for. But uh, that is uh, for uh, Thoracic Outlet Syndrome. He did a video kind of on that. And I know he's trying to bring awareness to that cause. And I, I'd like to tell you what the cause is. I actually wikipedia it. And I kind of understand what it is but I can't really uh, ex you know I can't explain what it is so that's kind of where he's getting that part of his name he's simple food fast type food you know inexpensive ingredients which is what I'm all about right there inexpensive ingredients he said you're not gonna see him cooking with any shrimp and lobster or you know I forget how he put it but uh, I'm sure he would for the right price but he uses the hell out of that toaster oven he almost had a brother one to run out and get a toaster oven. So he uses toaster oven, I think, uh, crock pots, I mean, but either way, it's going to be faster type stuff that you can just get on, knock out, like after you're done working or whatever. And he's not afraid to call out all suckers either, because I guess somebody was on his page messing with them, and he basically uh, put up a video calling them out saying, I mean, it was like, you know what, I got a video made calling you out, keep it up, and I'm going to publish it. So, I kind of like that spunkiness, but, uh, you know, he, you know, he just, he comes off as a genuine person. So, like I said, I think, uh, you know, just check out, you know, what, check out his channel. I'm going to put links to all these channels in the description, but, you know, if you're curious about what thoracic outlet syndrome is, take a look at it and, uh, you know, Wikipedia it, whatever, if you're interested. And, uh, anyway, check him out if you're not. And if you like what any of these guys are doing and you're not subscribed to them, go ahead and uh, subscribe to their channels. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Anyway, Rivet, I'm wearing your Airborne shirt again or your sweatshirt again. I'm going to be wearing the hell out of this thing. Uh, just to show some love for other uh, branches of the service. I can't wear it out in town because I don't want anybody being like, you know, thinking I'm a fraud or something. So I won't be doing that, but I'll wear it around the house. Maybe the neighborhood. Anyway, uh, thanks for taking the time to take a look at me. I got some stuff kind of working uh, in the works. And uh, hopefully that's going to be up so this just isn't going to be a blog site. You understand? Anyway. Thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. Comment, subscribe, check me out, and uh, have a good day. Hope you feel better than I do. Let me get some of this hippie juice back up in me.